Cause you were born with mischief in your eyes and fire in your veins. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome to my review for Blue Skies by T.L. Martin. So, of course, I want to thank Tawny for giving me an arc of the book in exchange for an honest review. Um, and it's going to be around 370 pages according to Goodreads. Right now it is only available on Kindle with everything else coming within the next couple of days. Um, it is coming out today, September 1st. And it is so far only $2.99 on Kindle and I highly suggest you pick this book up. So, the start of this was pretty interesting and pulled me in right from the start. Um, I did feel completely bad for Blue at the start. She got blindsided by um, having a stepmom and stepsister. She was never told about them. It's craziness. Um, the imagery of their backyard, though, made me so jealous. I wish I have a back. I had a backyard like that. I have a crappy backyard. Oh, I would love that backyard for me and Lily. Right, Lil? She's over there asleep. She she don't care. She's not my book pop. We all know that Callie. Callie was my book pop. Um, I definitely disliked Blue's stepsister right from the start. She was just a bitch until the end of this book. Trust me, you will dislike her and then you will love her at the end. Um, Hunt or Jacob immediately intrigued me. He was that, you know, mysterious hot guy. <laughs> Um, I love that Blue hand makes stuff. She is a crafter, just like me. I crochet, I make magnets, I do all this kind of stuff. And to, you know, see that in a book and see someone like me in a book was kind of awesome. I don't know if I have anything up here anymore. I like reorganized my shelves. And yeah, I don't have any crochet items up here anymore. They're all in the other bookshelf. What am I doing with my life? Um, Hunt's conversation with his dad was really interesting and, you know, made me very curious of what happened between them. You don't really learn much, but you do find out what happened. It gets interesting. It really does. Um, I definitely loved that Blue and her dad had some bonding time and got to know each other really well because in this book she moves in with her dad that she had never known anything about up until, you know, a month or two before the book happens. So, I found Blue's texts with her friend Benji absolutely adorable. Um... You know, Benji is that absolute stoner who lives in, who lives right by her mom and their best friends and their texts are just so adorable and so like a stoner. I'm sorry, it's, it's totally, yeah. Um, Blue volunteered at the nursing home brought it back a lot of great memories for me too. Um, I used to volunteer at the nursing home and then, uh, if you don't know through my update videos, I did work at a nursing home for a while, um, in the laundry department, and now I'm a certified nursing assistant, so I'm going back to work in a nursing home soon. Wahoo! <laughs> so yeah, I really had that, like, nostalgia and that remembrance and that memories of being with residents and volunteering and handing out with residents and you know getting to know their stories and listen and all that good stuff. Um, Hunt falling for Blue ever so slowly and having those like no 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 moments was just so cute to me. Um, you know I really enjoyed 
every minute of this book, honestly. Um, you know, I was so happy when Hunt finally opened up to Blue and you learned what happened between uh, him and his family and all that other stuff. Um, when Blue's mom revealed her problems and why she sent Blue to live with her dad for a while, just really made me so upset. Um, you know, I will get into it at the end of this video of what happened. Um, so that I don't spoil anything, but I will make sure at the end of this video to explain what happened and, you know, I'll let you know beforehand that it is spoilery and you want to kind of skip to the end if you don't want to know anything. Um, you know, and I felt so bad for Blue having to deal with the aftermath of that revelation and those problems that happened. Um, but the ending of this book definitely made me so, so happy. It was so adorable, so cute. I loved it. Um, and like I've said this whole time, Five out of five stars. This book was so good. I absolutely loved it. Tani is an amazing author. I love her books so much. I have physical copies of all of her books, I think. Um, yeah. I just, I love her and her writing is so amazing. So I will say before I get to that warning part that I do want to say that there is suicide in this. That basically explains it all for you. But, um, you know, I do want to warn about the suicide, and I am going to post some stuff down below about suicide prevention and all that for you. Uh, but here is the warning, you guys. So, you know, I faced this myself. Blue's mom was severely depressed. Um, very untreated depression, too. And so, she ended up committing suicide. If you ever feel that way, please reach out to someone. Reach out to the Suicide Prevention Hotline. Reach out to me, I'll talk to you. Um, you know, this is something I face. I have depression and I thankfully am treated for it. You know, I have a very um, caring family. I have a big support system. But, you know, medication isn't always enough or you don't want to be on medication and it's understandable. But please, if you ever feel that way, reach out to someone. Don't bottle it up like Blue's mother did. And that's all I'm going to say about that. So, end of warning. But, you know, um, thank you guys all for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. Please go check out this book. This book is amazing. And yeah, so I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye everyone. Cause you were born with mischief in your eyes and fire.